So I'm Mark Keane, Managing Director of HIDAC in Australia, and uh, I'm very proud to be able to introduce this to you today and uh, to let you know that we have a fantastic presentation on the locally designed and produced packages from HIDAC. As some of you would know that we've been producing components for condition monitoring for over 15 years now, and we've been packaging those in Australia for more than 10 years now. Recently, we've redesigned and redeveloped the package into a, a, an easy configurable system. And today I'm very happy to let you know that Mr. David Perrett, one of our application and project engineers, is going to run you through the entire program and uh, hopefully inspire you to get involved in the condition monitoring journey, which is a very, very important part of the future of hydraulics. Without the basics of condition monitoring, we can't move to predictive maintenance and predictive analytics. So this is a most relevant subject for all of us who are interested in reliability. Enjoy the presentation. We'll, uh, we'll review your questions at the end. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for that, uh, Mr. King. Uh, so the topic today uh, is the CM Expert Hydraulic Package, also known as the CMEAU. Um, we'll be going into that in detail, along with condition monitoring in general, why it's important and why uh, we believe uh, everyone should be considering it. So condition monitoring, um, the operating fluid in your system, um, the oil, is basically like the blood in the body. All the components in your system um, are involved with this. Uh, it's the condition of your components, the condition of, of the oil. Um, everything uh, in the end comes back down to how well your operating fluid is working in your system and whether it's being degraded, contaminated or affected over time. So um, as many of you would know, any operating fluid that uh, is in operation will start to degrade over a period where the speed through moisture or humidity being absorbed in, which every system will get from humidity in the air, whether it be just from the, the pressure and the heat from the operation of the system itself uh, can cause degradation as well. So all mineral oils have additive packages which are designed to improve the performance of your system, increase the lubricity, uh, reduce the wear of your components. This is another important aspect that needs to be kept an eye, uh, needs an eye kept on because as that degrades, it will impact the performance of your system and possibly increase the degradation. Presence of contaminants in your system, um, such as wear materials, is also an important factor in the degradation of the system and the oil in it. So when you consider this and you consider the oil as the, the blood of your system, monitoring the health is, uh, is vital. And this is, uh, this is where our condition monitoring package comes in place. So uh, the goal of this whole approach is predictive maintenance. And condition monitoring is an important tool in this step for your hydraulic or loop system. So the CMEAU1000 or the condition monitoring or CM expert hydraulic package is a system that we've put together to take some of the uh, sensors and uh, all sensors and particle canvas that we have, put them into a plug and play package that's easy for a customer or a fitter on site to install and service and communicate with, to give you the critical information you need to decide on, on whether your system needs action taken or whether it's in good health. So going through this list, you can see on the screen there, this is the components that we uh, generally put in these packages. I will go into detail in a second, but uh, for those of you who know, we've got a particle counter, which is a CS1000, an aqua sensor for the humidity in the system, the HLB 1400, which is the oil condition sensor, which I will go into detail, and the CSI C11, which is a communications module, which makes the whole package very easy to work with. So starting off on the CS1000, it's an optical cell contamination sensor. Um, in basic terms, um, when you pass all through it, it'll give you an ISO count or an SAE count telling you the level of particulate contaminant in your oil. Um, also, you can get um, digital outputs. It will give you alarms that you can set it up to have uh, limits. So when your oil gets an ex a certain level of contamination, it will give you a warning that something needs to be, uh, some action needs to be taken. It can even be set up to run a filtration unit 
where if your oil exceeds a certain level of contaminant, it'll um, switch on the filtration unit and polish your oil so you can polish your oil down to an acceptable level. It's available with or without a display um, and generally needs between 50, I think no, 30 and 500 milliliters a minute of oil. So it requires a bit of careful setup. The next uh, sensor would be the AS1000 Aqua Sensor. This is a humidity sensor or a saturation sensor for your operating fluid. It is a, as a basic robust sensor, no calibration required. Um, has a couple of switching outputs. Say if you want a warning at 60% uh, humidity in your oil or a, an alarm at 80% that action needs to be taken. Um, this would be the sensor for your system. Building on that is the HLB 1400. So it has the functionality of the AS1000 built in. It has humidity sensor as well. However, it has some other really good features that make it critical in the CME AU1000 package or any condition monitoring really. Um, you'll see on the right hand side of the um, display that there is a list of the outputs. Um, so to go into to why this is a, a very valuable sensor for the health of your system, um, if you look at the properties or the uh, qualities of your oil that's uh, important to let you uh, to judge whether the oil is degrading. Viscosity is a very important one. You can go off humidity, viscosity or um, contamination levels, but the problem is viscosity is very, very hard to measure. It's an expensive, complex thing to, to record, not something you could have on every system. Um, so another thing you can do is look at the conductivity and dielectric constant. Now these are two material parameters or properties that is um, they are temperature dependent. So when the oil composition changes or your temperature changes and fluctuates, these two values will vary as well. So what this sensor does to determine the uh, health of your oil, whether it is degrading, is it measures these two values through a self-learning, self-calibration period. And then um, it can detect when your oil is varying off this baseline which is, um, gives you the information, uh, it's, it's an indication of whether oil has been uh, contaminated, whether it's lost its additive package and the composition has changed. Um, so uh, in that itself, it also has switching points to um, give you a warning when this has occurred. So I guess uh, the takeaway point for this sensor is, it is the crucial one for letting you know when your oil has lost its condition or when it's starting to degrade. This is a slide I put in here just to give uh, everyone an idea of, of what this sensor does when it's installed. Um, for the operator, when you go to um, install the HLB 1400 or the uh, CME package itself, the program required is just the minimum and the maximum temperatures. You see on the left-hand side here, you let it know the range of the temperature, the temperature range that your system's operating in, and it takes care of the rest by itself. It spends a period of time uh, monitoring the temperature, the saturation level, the dielectric constant and the conductivity of your system. And then once it has got enough information to determine the baseline for your system and the oil inside, it starts to do a comparison, which is over here on the operating phase. So what this means is when your oil starts to vary off that baseline records during this, this after the self-learning phase, that's where, that's where it lets you know, because if it, if it sees a, say, a high saturation level or your conductivity is 10% higher than, than what it was during the learning phase, it'll give you a warning, which, which should uh, allow you to take action to uh, find out what's caused it. So on to the last major component in the package, which is the CSI C11. So this is the communications module that makes this uh, package very easy to work with. So the sensors I've talked about, the CS1000 or the HLB 1400, the outputs on these sensors are complex if you're just trying to connect to them by themselves. Uh, on the right hand side of the slide you can see I've put in some of the um, the outputs from these sensors in 4 to 20 just to give you an idea. It's not a straightforward 4 to 20 analog output. So what we've included is this module that takes these complicated sensors, interprets them, and puts them out in um, two formats that are very easy to work with. The first uh, format I'll talk about is the wired connection, which is uh, on an M12 port on the CSI C11 itself. It's a Modbus TCP IP protocol port. Now this is a common communications protocol for mine sites, SCADA systems, PLCs. Um, very, very easy for, uh, uh, for you to install and work with. The other communications method is through the Wi-Fi connection. 
It has an aerial you can see on the top there of the unit itself. Um, that works with Flumos. So I'll show you a slide on Flumos in just a moment. But Flumos is the mobile phone or the mobile device app. So I'll go to that now. As you can see on the screen now. So on the left-hand side is Flumos Lite. It is a free software package from HIDAC, which can uh, talk to the CSI C11. And it will show you the values coming out of your sensors. It will show the trend, uh, the ISO count, the trending ISO count. It will show you your saturation levels, the dielectric constant, and the conductivity. Um, and on the right-hand side, you can see the mobile app. So the, the idea behind this is if you install one of the uh, CME AU1000s on a mine site, for example, they can have a permanent installation through the SCADA, connect, uh, SCADA port, which can go back to their own computer systems and trending and what, whatever they would like to do with those values. But for the fitter or someone who wants to check the condition of the ore, they can go up there with their mobile phone or mobile device and uh, access the CSI C11 and see immediately the live values from those sensors. Um, I believe this is an important tool for checking on site um, for hydraulic or loop systems that uh, perhaps hasn't been available before. On now to the actual CMEA 1000 package. I've taken this uh, list or the breakdown here on the left hand side from the data sheet which is available on the HIDAC website. There's quite a lot of options available. I won't go through all of them um, with you but some of the more common ones to look at is the basic package that we have is a CA, uh, CME AU1000 level one that has the CSI C11 for your Wi-Fi and your, your Modbus connection. It has the particle counter CS1000 and it has a HIDAC lab. So that basic module is all you need to connect into an existing system or, an, or into a new system and get the condition of the oil. If you want to go to something um, a little more uh, uh, remote, the level two has an inbuilt gateway and the possibility of accessing your values through an online dashboard. And uh, going on to level three has the same functionality, um, but that that is the that is the all bells and whistles option with the full PLC. You can you can use whatever sensors you like. You can uh, have vibration, pressure, anything. That is a full that is an engineered solution to level three. So at the minute, um, I can recommend the level one. We've got them in production and on hand. So um, suitable applications um, is something I'd like to discuss because really a system like this is more suited to your, your critical systems or your high, high value systems, anything with a very large volume of oil where the condition or just replacing the oil because it's been allowed to degrade due to a, a seal failure or water ingress would be a very expensive event. So I'm thinking bore mills, sag mills, cone crushers, turbines, uh, high pressure injection molding machines is another one where your oil has to be spot on. Servo valves, any systems like this would be perfectly applicable. Um, at this moment, I think a poll has become available um, regarding the oil that the system can be used on. Um, please go ahead and have a look at that and answer that. We'll have a talk about that uh, towards the end. Now on to how do, how do we use this thing, the on, uh, installation and site integration. So our goal with this was to make it plug and play and self-learning and, you know, Basically, just you plug it in and don't have to stress about it. So for this, we've got process connections, 12L, 8L. That's all you need, an inlet and an outlet. Um, for the communication side, I've already talked in detail. There's Modbus, there's Wi-Fi. Um, then we've got the gateway. You have to make sure you've got 3G or 4G reception. And the installation is, is pretty straightforward. There's only a couple of things to keep in mind. The enclosure must be mounted vertically, uh, not horizontal. We've um, done a lot of uh, testing and design work to, to uh, make sure that uh, to, to go into detail on that it is an important fact the hlb must have its parameters set at the initial installation but then it's pretty much leave alone and depending on your viscosity because that will change the uh, flow rate and the the way the unit works there may be some minor tweaking of the uh the proportional uh pressure compensated flow control and the relief valve here but it's it's a pretty pretty easy thing to do um, or as always, if uh, going to install one of these units, you're welcome to contact HIDAC or the engineering department here at HIDAC for some assistance. Some limitations and tips. Um, make sure the oil supply is continuous on the CMEA U1000. If there is an interruption to oil supply, obviously it's, it's uh, going to cause it some, 
some grief. Um, if you're using a variation that doesn't have an inlet pump, which is one of the options, you will need a constant 40 bar supply pressure. There is limitations on viscosity, 10 center stoke to 500 center stoke, but uh, generally speaking, if you have got a system with the center stokes, uh, all viscosity will go above 500 center stokes. That's usually just a cold start. So, you know, it can be worked around. It's a condition monitoring system. If there is a five minute window, it's not going to make any difference usually. Conductivity. Um, so the HLB 1400 can record from zero to 100 nanosiemens. Um, for the vast majority of mineral oils, that's not a problem, but always worth checking. Um, we have built in a deaeration um, part to the circuit to try and minimize the impact of aeration or air bubbles causing false reads on the CS1000. But of course, there's limits to everything. If your system is heavily aerated, um, we'll not be able to help you with that one, just uh, with this uh, little pump. And the HLB 1400 is for permanent installations. Um, if you attempt to use this sensor on a mobile uh, application, I mean like a filter trolley, something where it'll be going from oil to oil to oil or different circuits, that sensor will be uh, not uh, not used correctly. It is designed for permanent long-term installations where it can identify the change in oil condition or, or degradation or, or problems like that. Please keep that in mind. All right, um, that is the end of my presentation. I think this EAU is an important tool that needs to be talked about and looked at and uh, installed into new high value systems um, towards the, uh, the goal of predictive maintenance. Um, all right, well, that's the end of uh, my presentation. Thank you very much for attending and watching. And uh, I will pass it back now to Mr. King. Thank you. Uh, so just to answer a couple of the questions which have come up, uh, which I think are relevant. We've had a question concerning uh, is the system suitable for diesel? Uh, the answer is that some of the components are suitable for diesel, but not all of them. So for example, the particle counter is definitely compatible with diesel. We have a version for that, uh, but the oil aging sensor, the HLB is not. So uh, we would have to do a different package if you wanted to apply this to diesel, but you can contact us and we're happy to configure a, a bespoke unit for you. Uh, and a, another question which was raised was concerning the uh, suitability of the unit or recommendation of the unit for use on case drains on pumps and motors. It is possible to, to do that. What we have to look at is the flow rate on those lines may or may not be suitable depending on uh, flow and temperature. So that would have to be case by case. We would look at that together with you, uh, providing there is enough flow and the temperature is not excessive. Uh, the short answer is yes, it could be used uh, in that configuration. The other question that we have is about uh, triggering the self-learning on the HLB 1400. Uh, so that is something where if the oil is changed or there's a major disruption to the system which you want to reset, uh, you can manually reset that device uh, to start a new calibration phase and learn uh, on an up update to the system. So hopefully we've uh, been able to uh, answer uh, all of your questions there. If there's any that we've missed, then we will certainly give a written reply back to the respondent uh, on, on that. And uh, thank you again, uh, David, for your good presentation. And thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed the webinar and we look forward to see you at our next webinar. Bye for now.